this is Carolyn from PlumbingSupply.com and today we're going to show you how to do one of the easiest kitchen upgrades you can possibly do. This is a kitchen soap and lotion dispenser. I used to think these were really fancy. I'd go to people's houses, they have them in their sinks. I thought it was like a built-in feature that came with their sinks and their plumber installed it. These are really simple. They don't cost a ton and they can actually save you money. If you're like me and you like to buy in bulk, Getting one of these and filling up the bottle over and over and over again with your big jug of soap or lotion is way more cost effective and way more environmentally friendly than using up a bunch of plastic bottles. When you get your soap and lotion dispenser, it's going to look like this out of the box. You're going to want to unscrew the bottle off of the bottom. Then you're going to unscrew this piece called the lock nut. Don't lose this. <laughs> Normally, whenever you're doing any kind of kitchen or um, sink remodel, anything around the sink where you have small parts, it's a good idea to put a rag or a stopper in the drain of the sink just in case you accidentally knock one of those parts into the sink. You don't want it to go down the drain. So one thing you're going to want to check out before you buy a soap and lotion dispenser is how many faucet holes you have in your sink. Now, we're going to pretend there's a faucet here taking up these three holes. And sometimes when you go to your sink, you'll see a little cover on the sink you're not sure what it's for. This is a faucet hole cover, and it just sits over these holes like this just to cover them up so you don't get water into your sink and because it looks prettier. Now, if you have an extra one of those, or if you've put a new faucet in lately, you have an extra faucet hole and you want a soap and lotion dispenser, all you have to do is, for this kind, this just snaps in. So all you'll have to do is just take a screwdriver and pop that right out. And there's another kind that screws in. So for this kind, you're going to want to get under your sink and unscrew this and then just pull that out. Now the first step in installing this is we're going to take the dispenser and you're probably going to want to put just a tiny bead of silicone caulking or plumber's putty or some other kind of sealant right here underneath the flange. Because once you put this in here, you don't want any of the water that comes from your sink and getting up over here on your countertop to get underneath here. That can cause problems. Not only is it going to erode the, the fittings under here, but you're also going to get water underneath your sink and you don't want that. So all you need to do after you put your sealant under here is just drop this into the faucet hole and then we'll get under the sink and finish the job. Now we're under the sink, and this is probably way easier for us than it will be for you because we don't have a lot of stuff under here to get in the way. So be careful and don't hurt yourself while you're climbing under the sink. Now here you can see our soap and lotion dispenser coming down through the faucet hole. We're just going to take the lock nut and just slide it up over that and start tightening. And you can kind of hold on to the bottom of this to help you get it started. Don't pull too hard on that because this little tube will come out but just keep tightening all the way up until you get it up here. So through the magic of TV, we've got this securely tightened in here in no time at all. You want to make sure that it's tight against here and that this isn't going to move around any. And then you're going to take your bottle and slide that up over here and just thread it into the bottom of the dispenser. Make sure it's secure but don't tighten it too much because this is plastic and you don't want to cause any cracks that could cause your lotion or your soap to leak out underneath the sink. So once you've got it all installed, what you're going to do is just pull up this little part and you can put your soap or lotion in here. Just squeeze it down in there. It'll fill the bottle up. You probably want to not do too much right at first and then get under and check it until you kind of get a gauge of how much it takes to refill the bottle. And then you just slide this back in there, pump it a couple times to get your flow started, and there you have it. You have a brand new kitchen soap dispenser for your sink. Once again, this is Carolyn with PlumbingSupply.com. Thanks for joining us.